Hey everyone, Joffrey here and welcome back again to my channel where I review the latest and greatest gadgets and gizmos. Today we have a new budget smartphone from Oppo, the Oppo A38. This device was launched in September 2023 and it offers some impressive features for its price range. Let's take a closer look at this phone and see what it can do. But before that guys, if you are new here in this channel, please don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss all my latest gadget reviews. Let's get started. Let's start with its design. The Oppo A38 has a 6.56 inch HD plus IPS LCD display with a 90Hz refresh rate and 720 nits of peak brightness. The screen has water drop notch for the 5 megapixel selfie camera and it has thin bezels on the sides and a slightly thicker chin at the bottom. The display is quite large and immersive, and the 90Hz refresh rate makes it smooth and responsive. The colors are vivid and the brightness is adequate for outdoor use. However, the resolution is only 720p, which means that the pixel density is not very high and some text and icons may look a bit blurry. The back of the phone is made of plastic with a glossy finish that reflects light in different patterns. The phone comes in two colors, glowing black and glowing gold. The back panel also houses the dual rear camera setup, which consists of a 50 megapixel main camera and a 2 megapixel depth sensor. There is also an LED flash and an OPPO logo. The camera performance is decent for this price segment as the main camera can capture detailed and sharp photos in good lighting conditions. The depth sensor helps to create a nice bokeh effect for portrait shots. However, the low light performance is not very good, as the photo tend to be noisy and grainy. The video recording is limited to 1080p at 30 frames per second, which is acceptable but not very impressive. The right side of the phone has the power button and the fingerprint scanner, which are integrated into one. The fingerprint scanner is fast and accurate, and it also supports a face unlock. The left side of the phone has the volume buttons and the SIM tray, which can accommodate two nano SIM cards and a micro SD card. The bottom of the phone has the USB Type-C port, the speaker grill, and the 3.5mm headphone jack. The top of the phone has nothing on it. The Oppo A38 is powered by the MediaTek Helio G85 processor which is an octa-core chipset with two Cortex-A75 cores clocked at 2 GHz and six Cortex-A55 cores clocked at 1.8 GHz. The GPU is the Mali G52 MC2, which can handle casual gaming well. The phone has 4GB of RAM plus 4GB of RAM expansion and 128GB of internal storage, which can be expanded up to 256GB via micro SD card. The performance of the phone is smooth and lag free for most tasks such as browsing, social media, streaming, etc. However, heavy multitasking may cause some slowdowns and stutters. Now, the phone runs on Android 13 with Color OS 13.1 on top. Color OS is Oppo's custom skin that adds some extra features and customization options to the stack Android experience. Some of these features include dark mode, game space, smart sidebar, clone phone, etc. Color OS also has some bloatware apps that cannot be uninstalled, such as hat apps, hat games, Soloop, etc. These apps may consume some storage space and battery life. Now talking about the battery life, the Oppo A38 has a 5000mAh, which is quite large and can last for a whole day of moderate usage. The phone also supports fast charging with VOOC technology, which can charge the phone from 0 to 50% in just 30 minutes using the included 33W wired charger. Now, the Oppo A38 is priced at 549 dirhams here in Dubai or around 8,000 pesos in the Philippines, which makes it a competitive option in the budget segment. The phone offers a large and smooth display, a decent camera setup, a decent processor, 
a huge battery and fast charging technology. However, it also has some drawbacks such as the low resolution screen, the plastic build quality, the mediocre low light performance and the bloat wear apps. Alright guys, that's our review of the Oppo A38 smartphone. What do you think of this device? Would you buy it or not? Let us know in the comments below. And if you like this video, please don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel for more exciting tech reviews like this. Thanks for watching and I'll see you tomorrow. Peace out.